Let's get started with the headlines first. Democratic National Convention opens in Chicago. President Joe Biden to speak shortly, expected to urge fellow Democrats to unite behind Vice President Kamala Harris in the fight for the White House. Kamala Harris makes her first appearance on day one of the Democratic National Convention as it opens in Chicago, receives a standing ovation from the audience. Protesters arrested at the Democratic National Convention after dozens of pro-Palestinian demonstrators break through part of the perimeter security fence, drawing riot police to the site. I wonder if they knew where she comes from, where she came from, what her ideology is. Donald Trump unleashes attacks against Kamala Harris in a running mate during a rally in York in Pennsylvania, claims Joe Biden is deposed in a coup orchestrated by Harris. U.S. intelligence officials say they consider Iran to be responsible for recent hack of Donald Trump's presidential campaign. It was part of ongoing cyber attacks by Tehran. Ukrainian President Zelensky says Kyiv's assault on Russia's Kursk region shows that Kremlin threats of retaliation were a bluff, urges allies to loosen curbs on using foreign supplied weapons. Amid protests across India against the rape and murder of a trainee doctor in Kolkata, the Supreme Court of India is set to hear a Suomoto case. Today, bench headed by India's Chief Justice has taken cognizance of the incident. Singapore announces its first ever unemployment insurance amid slowing the economy. Is the policy shift just a smokescreen or will the move provide equitable growth in Asia's most expensive city? We'll explore that on the show.